Ty here with a video review on my Burn Proof Gear uh, suppressor cover. But before we get into that, if you could give us a like and a subscribe, thumbs up on the video at the end there, we'd greatly appreciate it. Help us game that al algorithm so we can pop up in more people's feeds. So let's get into this. I've known about Burn Proof Gear for, oh geez, four or five years now. Um, and always wanted to uh, try their product and finally got around to saying, you know what? I'm going to do it. So, bit the bullet, as it were, and decided to spend the money on getting one of their uh, suppressor covers. So, I'm doing this uh, suppressor cover here for my Silencer Co. Omega, uh, Omega 30. And uh, we're going to see if I can figure out how to put this on. Not sure what this is for, because there are no instructions whatsoever. Bought this, and... Uh, Shipped, came, came in a package, as a matter of fact, a USPS type package like this with no instructions. So I'm going to try to figure something out there. Cool logo on there. Um, looks like it just slides on. Um, but maybe that's it. We'll see. Let me find out what this thing is for. Not sure what that is. But uh, I'll be back, take this out to the range, let you know my thoughts. Kind of cool construction here. I'm pretty impressed. Anyway, I will be... Uh, I'll be back at the range and let me figure what this is for. All right, it's amazing what Google will tell you. Um, so this is the the, uh, the actual heat shrink sleeve and it has to be cut to fit this length. Now I have, the Omega has gas ports coming out the side here. So when I slid this on, it was just way too long. Um, have to leave this part open because this is the part that actually I need access to to actually screw it onto the mount. Um, and they measure, they recommend that you actually measure it um, with the sleeve on because it changes length once the sleeve is placed on. You could measure it and cut it off and while the sleeve is off and it might be a little bit too short. So this is where I want it. I know I buggered up the cut job right there because it's not exactly flush, but uh, I'll live with it. Okay, then we got to put this one on, this, uh, the, the actual cover on. All right, so once you get the suppressor cover on, you're supposed to pull these, each individual ones of these tight. Um, and then, depending on your mount, I will not be able to tighten this cover down until I actually install one of the gun because I have... Uh, one of the ASR mounts, and it requires that I actually spin this ring. So I'm going to have to get my hand in there to spin this ring. Once that lock ring is on, then I would finish tightening. Yeah, I would finish tightening the cover so that this actually wraps around the end of the suppressor so it doesn't slide forward when you fire. Then I would finish by wrapping all of this around, finding a free end to loop through this loop, and then come back around and loop it over top. If I need to do it multiple times, I would. And then this would be, a, I guess this would be it. And I said their logo, I believe their logo, this is their logo upright. <clears throat> logo needs to be upright uh, on the ejection side of the gun. So I think this is their logo. I think it's upright. Maybe. Again, no packaging. So there you go. Um, I'm going to take this out to the range. I'm going to shoot it a bunch. Uh, well, I'm not going to shoot it. I'm going to shoot the suppressor a whole bunch. And then... Uh, see how uh how much it keeps the heat off my hands so see how easy it'll be take able to take off uh i'm already foreseeing an issue with the asr uh or this this ring um not sure how i'm gonna handle that in the long term but uh we'll see go out to the range and i'll i'll figure it out at the range
right, <clears throat> so Silencerco only recommends that you fire 10 rounds of 5.56 through this before you give the suppressor a chance to, to cool down. So this should be too hot to touch. <clears throat> and here you can see I'm actually got my hand wrapped around it. And uh, I've actually burned the paint off of this by doing those 10 round or more than 10 round bursts. So here it's definitely more than 10 rounds. I just fired probably something around the neighborhood of 20. And it's warm, but it is definitely not hot. I think I have it on correctly. Got the end wrapped down here. Um, up front here, I definitely don't have it near the, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, exhaust ports here so as not to tear it. So definitely a good buy, All right? Definitely warm, but it's not too hot to touch. Yeah, so there you go. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you would, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon off to the right there so you can be notified of any new content that we might post. Hopefully this helped you make a purchase decision. Um, so there, yeah, we're going to end the video now. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe and we'll see you out on the range.